Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to make an anime style plush procedurally. So the plush I'm talking about is something like this or like this. The reference image I got from Google. Uh, so let's get started. So we're going to start off the new scene. Um, I already deleted the cube, the camera, and the lights. So the first thing we want to do is uh, go to top view. We click the Z button up here. And we're going to add it in a circle. We're going to tab into edit mode. We're going to turn on proportional editing. Click proportional editing here. On. We're also going to click the asymmetry. So we want to anything we do is going to be symmetry. Going to at this point here, this we're going to see, and we're going to grab it on the z axis, the x axis. We're going to make an oval shape. Use your mouse to radius of the down here is good. We're gonna next we're gonna select all the points and fill in with F. We're gonna exit out of back to Optimo and now we can start with our shader. We're gonna make a new shader, new button here. Name this one blush, and might as well also name our object too. Circle blush. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is delete this one BSDF, and we're gonna add in a wave text. If you have no Wrangler enabled, add-on enabled, we're gonna do Control T. You get the mapping and texture coordinate. And then let's see what this one looks like. This is going to be our lines. Our, our plush of these lines. We want them slanted. To do that, we're going to put a Z rotation. It either way. This way. And you can change yellow on the way by well, more or less line. Give it four. Next thing we want to do is add in a fix RGB in the middle. We're going to change this to color burn. Change color two to black. This is gonna affect how thick your lines are, you want your lines to be. Thicker or thinner, change it here. All right, next we're going to add in another mix RGB between. Change this one to color dodge. And this one is gonna change how soft the lines are. Change color 2 to white. If you turn it all the way up, you see they're very sharp. Down. Soft. So, maybe a little bit softer. Okay. Next, um, you want to put some noise into our lines so they're not all completely straight like that. So we're gonna add in a noise texture. And we're going to mix it with our wave texture. Noise texture and mix RGB.
two, twenty one. One. See how this one looks. I can give us some white spots so it's not really a straight line. And then we're also going to add in a color ramp to control this more. Color ramp put in between. We're going to set it to beast line. Move it over so you can see. B. It's going to be like this. All the, there's going to be some gaps in between. So instead of putting this one here, we're going to put this color into here. In between, and then we're gonna see how this looks. Right. Yeah, we want some white spots here. That's what we want. Move this over. Additionally, we can also add in a mapping texture corner for the noise texture too if we want to move the place of these white spots. I feel like this is good. Between. And now we're going to add some color in. Let's add another color ramp. It's in between the, after the color dodge. And we're going to set this one to ease. We're going to change the black color to a red color. Reddish color. And the white color to a pinkish color. So this is going to be the red lines are going to be these lines here, and the pink background is going to be the blush pink part there. All right, so this is. It for the blush, the lines of the blush. Now we want the the lines to not be all the way to the edge. We want this oval, so we want them to be only in the middle. So to do that, we're going to have to have a something that controls where the lines are going to be appear. So we're going to use a gradient texture for that. In the gradient texture, and set it to quadratic sphere. And see where this is going. So right now, the gradient is like on this corner here. We want it in the middle, so we're gonna have to move it. So we're gonna put in the mapping measure corner node, and we're gonna move the x and y to minus. So that way it's right in the middle. There we go. And then we also want to add in a color ramp. Control how big we want this we need to be. So it's also going to go at ease. Move this. I just hear it. 
So the white part is going to be where the lines of the blush are going to be, and the black part is going to be outside. Now that we have this, uh, let's put these two together. I'm going to have a, another mix RGB. And this one. I'm going to connect this one to the second one. Just to change color one to white and use this as the factor. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so here we are. Okay, but moving the slider, we can control how much of the gradient, how much of the lines we want to appear in the circle. Okay, and there we have it. The next is the, we want to have the outside part to be this uh, pink, pink blush. So to do that, we're going to add in a, another color ramp. Let's duplicate this one and change the color. So this black one is be a a white. This white one is going to be pink is color. And we're going to use the same gradient texture as the fat there. See how this so this part is going to be this outside part here. We want this this big this. So I guess. You can also put this to be spline, it's softer. Okay, so now we just have to mix these, this one and this one. We're gonna add another mix RGB. This one. Here, two, this one, I have one, and I set this one to multiply. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so there you have it. We have the, the lines plus the background pink blush. Or oh, is this or not? The last part is uh, we want it to be transparent on the outside so the edges don't show. All right, so first we're going to add in a emission shader color and then the transparent BSDF. And we're going to mix these two with a mixed shader. Connect to the bottom, top, and this color. Color. Let me see what this does. All right, so she looks the same. And you turn this, nothing happens because we haven't uh, made it transparent. This object is not actually transparent yet. So to do that, we have to go to the material settings. Your property is here by clicking this icon and changing the blend mode to alpha blend and shadow mode to none because you don't want this kind of shadows. Now, if you control the fact that the whole thing becomes transparent or not, so we just want the outside outer part to become. 
But to do that, we're going to add in another element to control it as a factor. We're going to use this gradient texture again. So let's duplicate this. And plug our gradient texture to the factor. And we're just going to mix this one uh, with our output here. We're going to add another mix RGB. This one, then color, and then the color one is going to be white. So everything white is going to be transparent. We're going to put this as our factor. Just to see what this looks like. We yeah, should have the same thing, except that part is, that side part is white. All this. Now, this part is going to go to the factor, or mix shader. And if you look at this final results, we have this. Okay, and then try to tweak it a bit. Have uh, this, make this. This uh, color. Or okay, and then I think that's there you have it. And you can control how many more lines you want here. Lines. There you have it. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.